Thank you. Well, I'm, my name is PJ Franskevich. I am the North American product manager for Flink Group, responsible for bringing the products and solutions necessary for the North American market here. And um, very excited to be here today, very excited uh, to speak on behalf of Flint Group uh, to present to you the latest in a long list of plate making and plate technologies, uh, our, our most recent uh, innovation along those lines, the Nyloflex Express Thermal Plate Processing System. This most recent innovation from Flint Group was developed with one goal in mind, and that was to raise the bar of print and plate quality achievable with thermal flexo printing plates. So the Nyloflex Express Thermal Processing System is really more than just a plate processor. We believe that to achieve our goal of raising print and plate quality of thermal plates, it, took, it takes a holistic approach where we don't just improve the processor, but we also improve the plates. We also improve the developer role. So we set out to make a holistic solution where all these three parts work together seamlessly. They were built for each other from the ground up. So it wasn't just the processor that we, uh, that we improved on. It was the entire concept of thermal processing. So for the Nyloflex Express thermal processor, processor itself, we set our sights with a focus on technology. Specifically, how could we build a processor utilizing the latest technology to our advantage to really accomplish three things. One, to simplify the process. Two, was to enhance the user experience. And three, how could we reduce cost and maintenance through the processor itself? Well, to start with, the Nyloflex Express Thermal Processor is extremely robust with very durable parts and a really small footprint. Yes, yet it's massively scalable to make any plates up to 42 by 60 inches all the way down to 10 by 10 inches in any standard thin plate gauges from 045 to 067. So what this means is that all of our machines are the same. Whether you're a small user of plates, a small format user, or a large format user, they're always made on the same piece of equipment. So it's always giving very consistent results off of all the machines that we put into the market. And furthermore, if you're a small plate user and you would like to one day upgrade your format sizes to a 3547 or possibly to a 42 by, possibly to a 42 by 60 size, there's no need for you to install a new processor that may have new electri electrical requirements or a new footprint. You simply change blotter uh, developer role widths and you can process larger plates. The heart of the Nyloflex Express Thermal Processor is built around a shortwave IR heating assembly. Shortwave IR is much denser and stronger than medium wave or long wave IR. And why this is important for us is that with short wave, we're able to heat up just the outer layer of the plate surface. The heat doesn't penetrate all the way through to the plate backing. And if we can prevent the, the heat from affecting the plate backing, that means we have great dimensional stability of our plates. It also means that we can get the plate just hot enough to melt into the developer fabric, and therefore we're reducing all the vapors generated by the process. As a result, we do not need a chiller, and we do not need a condenser which are both additional pieces of equipment that complement other machines that require their own maintenance and potential for downtime. Furthermore, this zoned IR preheating system, it only turns on corresponding to the width of the plate that you're making. So for maximum efficiency, we're not wasting energy by merely heating up the drum where there is no plate. The, the zoning is matched to the plate width and we're only using energy where we need to, to to get the plate hot. So for an enhanced user experience, first of all, all area of the machines are completely accessible. The lid comes up, the sides come off. Any type of routine, routine maintenance that needs to be done, the operator can do it without breaking their back or having to take a, a lot of parts out to, just to get to, uh, to the components that need to be maintained. There's also a really simple web slicing procedure. No stapling required. We just have a, 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 some splicing tape and a unique uh, method of pulling the, the new blotter through the machine very effortlessly. It also has a visual indicator and audio alarm. This allows your operators uh, making plates to go about and do other tasks while the plate is being made. 
they'll get an audio alarm and a visual when the plate is done and ready to eject. It also has a, a full-blown, a fully integrated, full-blown PC, CPU running Windows, Windows CE as its human machine interface, or HMI. This really gives us the capability to put some nice features in the machine for the user. For instance, the de developer role percentage is displayed, so you're never at risk of running out of developer role material. There's remote diagnostics uh, available via uh, Wi-Fi, so you don't have to run a physical line to the machine, it could just operate via Wi-Fi. And we've also uh, taken the opportunity to use the power in the CPU to create a lot of how-to maintenance and use videos. And our intention there is that someone could walk up to the machine, having never seen it before, go to our help screen, watch the videos, and confidently make plates. For the printing plates, we turn our attention to a focus on detail. In particular, how could we raise the detail that can not only be held on the plate, but also the detail that those thermal flexo plates can print. So the portfolio that we've designed for the Nylaflex Express Thermal Processor starts with our two plates for paper printing, XPH and XPM digital plates. Both of these plates have features that are perfect for printing on paper. We offer XPH as the standard hard durometer 60 shore A plate, and this is for printing the, the finest highlights uh, with very minimal dot gain. We also have our XPM digital plates, which are a 50 shore A, a medium durometer plate. And these, these plates are, are, are more uh, ideal for printing on rougher substrates or when you're using especially small cylinders where you need a, to have good drape. The thing that sets these apart from other thermal plates currently on the market are the smooth and even surfaces that the plate uh, is, is left with after being thermally processed. So here you can see a picture of our Nyloflex XPH plate versus the market leading plate. And if you print both of these plates on paper, you should see a distinct difference. Not only is our plate uh, XPH gonna have a higher solid ink density, it's also gonna print with, with fewer pinholes. That's because the plate has an extremely smooth surface that's perfectly adapted to rough paper substrates. Furthermore, these plates have incredible imaging quality. Even as thermal plates, 200, 300, 400 LPI, we've really taken the cap off of what can possibly be held on a flexo plate. And these two, when printed, should print with up to 50% less dot gain in the highlights compared to market leading thermal plates. So not only do you have the benefit of extremely dense solids and great solid ink density, great looking solids with XPH on paper or XPM on paper, you also have the advantage of even sharper highlights than we've seen before with thermal plates. Next in the, uh, I, sh I should mention too that these plates, while they are suited for paper, they're perfectly compatible with high resolution imaging, putting surface screening into your solids and your dots and making them adaptable to print on a film. They work excellently uh, for that too. Out of the box, these are designed for paper, but there's really no limitations uh, for printing on other substrates if you would like to use uh, flat top dot technology with surface screening. And furthermore, when it comes to UV ink resistance, tops on the market. No problems with, uh, with ink swell, whether it's an aggressive UV ink or solvent-based ink. These plates will do it all. For high quality film printing applications, we're also proud to introduce Nyloflex XFH digital plates. XFH or, or uh, digital plates are 60 shore A, so a hard plate, and these are especially adapted for printing on film substrates. By that I mean they have a stable flat top dot out of the box, so it doesn't require an additional uh, flat top dot exposure system uh, to, to create flat top dots, and, and history and experience has shown that that dot structure is, is very conducive for long printing runs on film at very high speed. They also result with a textured finished plate surface, so they, they, they do a great job of matching the smooth surface of a, of a film or a, a highly coated substrate to produce really nice solids, really good ink lay down, and high densities. It's a hard durometer plate, much like XPH. This enables very sharp printing of highlight dots, subtle vignette fades, and minimal dot gain. And of course, if you'd like to uh, further enhance the surface of these plates with surface screening, you're more than welcome to do that. All up-to-date uh, software techniques to reduce uh, vignette fades through hybrid screening 
plates are completely compatible with that. The catch here is that since they are flat top out of the box, you do not need to employ a, surface, uh, a flat top exposure system to create flat top dots. That will do it right out of the box. We're happy to say that this plate is almost ready. We're just a few months away, putting the, the final touches on the formulation, and, uh, and we'll be happy to, uh, to talk to you about it now. We can offer some, uh, some plates for testing, but the commercial release of this plate is just a few months off. Flink Group also took a, a, look, a really hard look at what could we do with our thermal process to also put a better focus on the environment. And we chose two different ways we thought we could, uh, we could do what we could to reduce the, the impact on the environment that thermal plate making has. First, we looked at our developer roll fabric, and we engineered a fabric from the ground up that's unique and different than anything else that's been offered on, on, for thermal processing. And we also took a look at our waste recovery program and how we could put that together to, again, best capture uh, any waste uh, within the stream of thermal plate making and handle that responsibly. So for our uh, XP37 and XP44 developer roles, Again, a lot of R&D, a lot of meticulous work went into testing all sorts of different non-woven stru structures. We found a particular fabric with a thread that has more surface area that is exceptional at pulling away molten polymer from the plate. That enables us to reduce the density of these rolls by 30%. So the weight of our rolls is 30% uh, is less than commercial uh, uh, developer rolls in the market today. That only puts less of a burden on the environment in our call for raw materials to make these products. It also puts a uh, less burden on the operator to exchange rolls, to handle rolls. You'll find that even in the worst case scenario, when it comes to roll weight, if you're making our full size plates on the express uh, processor, our fully spent roll will never weigh more than 50 pounds. And why that's important for those that understand OSHA's suggestions, the, the maximum lift limit that they recommend for one person is 50 pounds. So with ours, it's truly a one-man operation. They can load these rolls on and take them off confidently that they're not putting their operators at risk of injury. For our waste recovery program, we've expanded this over commercial options to really capture all parts of the plate making process and handle them responsibly. So, Anything under the sun that's related to our program can be captured in our waste recovery program, whether it's the spent developer rolls, raw or finished plates with or without sticky back, cover sheets, foam separators, empty plate boxes. We have a simple procedure to, to palletize that. You would call a 1-800 number to have it carted away, and, and we take it from there. That waste is going to be routed either to a recycling center for the, for the objects that can be recycled, or the rest is taken to a waste to energy facility. So we've captured the whole stream of, of all the, the components to making plates, and it, it's, it was our goal, and I believe we've achieved that, to ha have a responsible way to handle that stuff for, the, for our customers. So by now, I hope you've seen that our, our Nyloflex Express thermal plate processing system is more than just a thermal processor with a new name on it. We set our sights on a, with a focus on innovation, specifically on technology, detail and the environment to bring a holistic solution that raises the plate and the print quality of thermal place to a level like you've never seen before. But we're very excited to show this to you today. Uh, we're very much looking forward to your questions. So thank you for your time today and listening to my presentation.